Charlie. Um, today I'm gonna to take a look at an app, one of the best apps I think I've messed around with. Um, it's a free app on the market right now. It's called AirDroid, and what this app allows you to do is to connect your your Android device to your to your computer, to your laptop, to your PC, to whatever. And um, when you do that, you can manage your device with no. USB and you can connect your device through Wi-Fi or through your data plan and With that you can do almost anything with your device when you when you connect and this is the interface you will get via a web page Online right now. I'm, I'm on Chrome right now looking at at my device. I'm connected to my device and then And from there I can send messages. I can make make calls. I can transfer pictures and files I can play music that's actually on my device on my computer right now, I can locate my device with find my phone and I can lock it down, I can send an alarm, I can wipe it. I mean every these things do it, it does everything. Um you can it will connect your device through Wi Fi whenever your device is close by or it will connect I mean you can leave your device at home and really connect to it through your data plan if you have you know um um free unlimited plan and you and, and you wish to do that or you have enough enough data to to do that um this is basically the the page that you will you'll have access to when you this is your your first page that you will open up into and from there you can add you can add other folders from your device you can just go into folder shortcuts and search your SD card if you have a SD card on your device or you can search your your system drive mm -hmm. find whatever um folder that you want to you want to put on this so if you put videos you put videos and you click and you can just add folders as you go on and like I said you can play you can play your music so you, like I add a music folder here and I can open up that folder and it will, it will give me the music that I have on my SD card or on my internal drive. And uh, you can just click on, uh, let me see, come up there and you will have a little area here. So let's stop that before any copyright stuff. But you can just play music directly from your device. You can also upload music from, from, from your... PC or you can download music to your PC from your phone so vice versa you can do both of those things right in the corner here you can see the phone that the phone that I'm connected to my Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and it gives you all information as to all the details of your of your device you can just click on details and it will tell you all your contacts you have all your messages that you have or how many apps you have on there how many songs you have on there videos photos also, don't let it tell you um, how much space you have on your internal drive, sorry, and your SD card, and what's taking up the space on there, and all that good stuff. So you can actually even, you know, if you see you have your space, like right now, I'm I'm using a good 7.23 gigabytes of my space. I can just click and I can just say, you know what, too many too many apps. I can just click on apps and really just start deleting apps right there you know useless apps that probably have on there are taking up space so you can just i mean just so much things that they it allow you to do on that big screen that sometimes you know your your small screen you feel like you know you don't want to do it um let's go to um, find my phone you can just click on find my phone if you misplace your phone or it's in the couch somewhere or you can't find it uh, you log into your your account and let's go look for a phone and right now it just it found my phone I'm gonna click again and when you click on on your phone it brings up a whole series of things that you can do so you can go into lost mode you can wipe it if you know you're gonna find it you can send a message to the <laughs> to the person who steal it um, so if you if you if you lost your phone in let's say, let's say in a, it's in your couch you can just play a song so it's gonna send right there it will send a message 
to the sound to the to the phone um fifth right there it will, it will it says there you can take a photo of the face of the thief or of the thief who try to take your phone but that 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 feature is coming soon and th yeah this is the better this is the better version of 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 that so it's still brand new there's still a lot, a lot of kinks to work out you can and stuff so it will get better with time as you see um you can also you can go into your photos view your photos on there your pictures will come up all your pictures on your phone will come up on there um you can again you can upload those photos and upload it to upload photos to your device or you can download the photos just like the, just like just like the songs that we just look at you can download photos to to your computer and files you can check all your files again you can check all your files on your on your drive on your phone and again if you want to upload the photos and download the photos so everything on your phone can be either uploaded or downloaded from your computer to your phone or from your phone to your computer ah yeah music again you have access to all your music on there like i just showed you so everything is on there every app you can just do everything um you can also use your camera and it's it could be like a security kind of kind of you can use it like a security like have your phone set up somewhere and log in to see so everything is working kind of slow right on my now. computer because i'm using my data my data right now to do that if you're on wi-fi it's, it's going to be a lot faster for you and right up here you have access to you can send messages so i have two things working right now let's, let's see close this down open this open a new page connect to the device all over again that's how you connect to your device you just log in through there we go so it's <laughs> that was a good thing it did that so there we go so it's connected to my device it's asking me telling me like um i'm cur currently using my 2g and 3g network and it tell me to conserve data try connecting through wi-fi and i said you yeah, know i got it no matter or, or, i have enough data on there to do that but we were trying to get into messages so right there i could send a message so if i'm to send a message to I send a message to that person yeah. And click enter. See? Message gone. If they answer back, then we'll see. And also, I can make calls. It said you can't find a widget. But a lot of the things in there is just. But again, I think this is one of the best apps. Well, for me, I think it's one of the best apps that I've I've, I've seen on, on on the Android market in quite a while. Again, it's free. Um, if you want to, there's a there's an upgrade to the Pro version for sixty days that you can do, and all you have to do is just post um post the Droid stuff on your Facebook or on your Twitter, and they will they will upgrade you to the Pro version. Where you'll have access to making calls and different stuff that the the better version wouldn't allow allow you to. Again, it's the Air Droid on in the Android market. Check it out. It's one of the best apps out there. Oh yeah, every day it's my so my phone is connected to today it is. Is my phone connected in real time? It's a bit laggy, but like I said, it's a very new app, so it will it will get better. This is Charlie. I'm out.